is often a favorite on Fridays, but just how safe is it? We decided to take a look at what safety standards are set and just how strict they are. And for more on what we discovered, we turn to CBS 2's Jeff Vaughn. Jeff. Yeah, Pat and Paul, seafood is supposed to be good for you, of course, but here's a shocker. In the U.S., 80% of the fish that we eat is actually imported from other countries. And while there are strict guidelines in place, that means a lot of fish that you eat isn't healthy for you. Often they are high in mercury. So we went to an expert to find out what you should be eating. The headlines are startling. Formaldehyde in fish from Asia. Toxic fish poison more than thought. In fact, according to the CDC, the most common source of seafood poisoning comes from imported fish from Asia. So how do you know the fish you're getting is safe? Everybody says eat more seafood, but then on the other hand, we're scared of certain types of seafood because of either news about contaminants or sustainability overfishing. Chef Andrew Gruel, owner of Orange County based Slapfish Restaurant, cooks up mahi mahi, salmon and hokey on a regular basis and knows fish safety and sustainability. People want to eat more seafood, but they were really confused about it. We asked Gruel to break it down for you. Safe seafood tip number one, buy from the U.S. The United States has a very rigorous management uh, framework, if you will, through which they manage the fisheries all around the United States. Can't find what you want from the U.S.? Well, Gruel says look for fish from countries like Canada, Costa Rica, and New Zealand. And try to avoid fish from the Philippines, Vietnam, and China which can be high in contaminants and antibiotics. Only 2% of all imports are actually able to get inspected by the FDA, so 98% is still slipping through the cracks. Safe seafood tip number two, eat this, not that. It's easy to avoid fish high in toxins if you know what to look for. And the easiest way to do it, Gruel says, look for sustainable fish. Stay away from Chilean sea bass. While it's starting to rebound, try something like a barramundi. It's a phenomenal fish. It's incredibly sustainable. Australis barramundi is the best. Instead of buying bluefin tuna, maybe try wild Pacific albacore. It's incredibly abundant. Safe seafood tip number three. Read labels. When you go to the market and you're buying fish, you do want to look at some of the labels. So MSC certification is an important one for wild fish. But then also for farm seafood now, it's a certification called BAP, Best Aquaculture Practice. It's part of the Global Aquaculture Alliance. And what about all the fish at sushi restaurants? Well, don't be afraid to ask questions. Gruel says ask the sushi chef if they serve sustainable seafood, if the seafood is farmed or wild, how it was caught, and from where. And at the end of the day, the mission is we need to eat a lot more seafood. Seafood is so incredibly healthy, but you got to get it from the right places. Well, another good resource that we found was seafoodwatch.org, which has a printout guide as well as an app for your phone that tells you the best seafood and the best sushi to eat and buy. Now, for more information, just go to our website at cbsla.com and click the Scene on TV tab. That's the latest. Paul.